How's it going, everyone? This is Wenbell. Today we are going to continue our lighting series in Blenders. So we're gonna talk about uh, it's called Beauty Dish. It's a very specialized light modifiers in photography world. So I really want more CDR, CG artists or 3D artists and the graphic designers, whoever's working in the creative industry, want to know better in the lighting. Okay, so let's get it started. So as you can see, I got a couple examples of build dish that are available out there on the market so you can see the build dish is you can use on flash you can use them for bigger light strobes but they are inside have pretty unique uh, structures in inside is basically you have a, a, a plate and you put light inside here it's is actually light coming in here and the bounce with the plate and then bounce back to the entire uh, areas again and then coming out a light you can either add a grid we have talked about it for our previous videos in the soft box and then we you can also adding a diffusion materials to make it softer and also it, as you can see uh, some companies are actually making some umbrella opt box and yeah they do call it build dish because it's close to a circle shape but technically the beauty dish is supposed to be a dish right it's absolutely a circle and usually made up in metal you can having two different materials inside is silver is more punchy and contrasty when the light and the white will be a little bit softer anyway so the whole point of having beauty dish is actually having the wrench to fill into the gap between a regular a zoom reflectors and uh, and the soft box so right now the market on photography is there's overwhelming of light modifiers and the whoever's don't really know too much about photography they will buying whatever is new in the market uh, the beauty dish was designed supposed to be have a relatively size I don't think you should buy any beauty dish bigger than 24 inches because it's not designed to do that it's supposed to have soft even light because the building structures the light is bouncing and coming out a very even uh, soft uh, even illuminated surface because it's very different compared to a soft box if you have a soft box you're gonna have a, a hot spot in the center right we talked about it again in the previous video so for build dish we don't want to have that that's why they build in this way and another thing is is, is you need to have a little relative smaller face uh, a surface compared to the soft box because it's trying to producing some even light but with relatively small so you're gonna have them some nice even light and a contrast light uh, yeah okay if you don't get understand what I, exactly I'm saying I will show you what's going on and also in the future I will producing uh, videos talking about the light quality okay let's get started what we can do in the uh, blender CGI world uh, so let me get the uh, my backgrounds going on and uh, get our lovely models coming in here. Um, let's see, uh, and then we're gonna turn on our all the lights over here. So right here, this uh, yeah, this is model is actually was made through a a, a add-on. It's called a human generator, I think, and then you can actually purchase that from the. Uh, blender market I can put the link on the description anyway so the beauty dish beauty dish is so easy to make is basically just a circle uh, around uh, so I can turn off all the we have like two versions of beauty dish so I will show you how to do these so the first one this one is just a simple circle and then if I'm tap inside and basically just like that it's a plane it's a circle and I have a texture made over here as you can see it's very similar to the softbox texture type I created last uh, from the previous videos and the only difference is here I we are not actually hooking another light te uh, textures uh, with it because in the in the build dish is designed to having even light uh, illuminating from the center to the edge so this is works perfectly so you can actually have a screenshot to save in this node for your beauty dish as a play and as you can see if I'm looking at this through a render mode and uh, the beauty dish uh, to actually have no light leaking from back 
So this is what beauty dish looks like. Another way is very another very pretty easier way, which is kind of using a area light, right? Use the area light. But as you can see here, the area light is a circle shape. It's, uh, it usually is coming out with a uh, with a, a square because once you're adding, you're using Shift A to add a light, um, it go to the area light. You can actually quickly change the shape of this area light. Default is a square. And now we can go to disk. Now it's a beauty dish. That's it. That's it. The tricky part uh, I want to talk about is that in the real world in the photography, it, you cannot really using the beauty dish and directly in front of people's face. In this way, in the front light lighting positions, actually they're gonna help people to really see seeing better skin textures because in the strong in in these positions, the light is gonna fall off on from the this way to the side cheeks. <laughs> cheeks and then actually it works pretty nice and again making this the, the entire uh, texture of your face more smooth and which actually most beauty shot or, or portraitures for females would want that however in the real world you gotta have a camera capture the, the image right so you cannot really just do that so this is where you actually inviting we are imagining the ring light it's basically the ring Right, it's still using the same materials that uh, that we, we use for uh, uh, the beauty dish. Uh, so the, they're the exactly same node, and the only thing different is just the shape. So in the in the photography, usually the photographer is just gonna stick the camera lens, and actually gonna go into shooting the pictures. As you can see here, in the eyes, they have nice, beautiful rings in here, and also if you are TikTokers, or maybe you're, you're filming videos yourself, you usually often to buy a ring light with a light stand. Uh, you can do that. So this is what's going on in the world, in the real world, in the photography. So I just want to cover that up. And the, the next part I want to really talk about is how are you supposed to use beauty dish correctly? Either in in your either you're a portrait photographer or you are just a, a person who might interest in you know how people use beauty dish. Okay, so in the CG world, you might want to having, uh, you know, I put two beauty dish here. It's a beauty dish straight front is like what we had right here. And not that way is the from beauty dish to top down. So I just wanted to show you the differences between these two lighting positions. From the side, looks very nice. I like this, especially I like this position is when you shooting profile photos. You can put your beauty dish here. You can take a picture of, of from this side of you. Look at the light fall off. Really cool, nice, right? You can even add in another light. It's kind of getting some ring light on this side. So that's what you do for photography, and for for you can use that as in the CG world as well. But let me show you the differences in here. So I'm actually having a camera. So let me tap zero to go in here. Yeah, it's like a yeah typical high shot, right? It's it's very very nice and even light. The one I'm using right now is is the beauty dish. Uh, we turn on is beauty dish straight front. So basically, we're illuminating the entire face, and the skin looks very nice and soft. You know, it, it looks cool. And in the if you are a photographer, you're probably gonna using a ring light because you need to have a again lens camera to stick stick into it to in order to take these pictures. Beautiful, nice. Okay, cool. So for 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 what I would actually need to use, uh, beauty dish is supposed to be top down because. The simple reason is the beauty dish is small enough to have a pretty contrasty shadow over here, but it's very even light, illuminating light. It's give you a little bit soft textures. And as you can see here, we I'm just changing simply changing the position of the beauty dish, and I didn't change the power or anything. And you can see here the the cheekbones has been accentuated and the jawline. Right, because the shadow is going down here. That's what the beauty dish supposed to use in either photographies or, or when you're illuminating, you are you're not really uh, looking at where is the lighting, where's the highlight. You are looking for shadows. That's the tricky 
part. That's one top of the tips that when you're lighting things, you're looking for shadows. You you are looking for where is the directions of the shadows fall off, and how how's the quality of shadow. It can change the, your your entire models. It can actually emphasize the the parts that you wanna to to really, you know, exaggerate or show off, and to getting also getting. Uh, you know some issues and flaws using the light to cover it up. So, and in here, if this one you really want to accentuate the jaw lines, the structure of the bones, you using the beauty dish or the lighting from the, the top down. Uh, this, uh, the 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 right here, the top down areas like 45 degrees going here, and also it's pretty nice. And if you do front, then you are having much softer skins you see you don't see that jaw lines and the cheekbones very defined but looks really nice and beauty and soft so that's the two ways that you can just simply changing the lighting positions to to achieve this look okay um so i think so far you got my point and you probably understanding how this these lights works and um i just wanted you to 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 really kind of like start understanding how light really working in the real world in order to having better understanding of how to lighting your your scenes or your 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 models your your subjects in a much better way and a professional way okay well yeah i think that's it and thank you for watching and if you really have some time to hang out on social media instagram will be a good place to hang out and uh, if you are also into the photorealistic product rendering that's kind of in my channel's niche and please consider to subscribe and uh, feel free to leave comments and uh, and things that you want to know more about and my expertise is going to be lighting because i came from a prof professional photographer background into cg so i'm hoping to share my knowledge to you and help you guys to having better renders and better art Okay, well, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.